friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I have a new um, digital kit that's up in my Etsy shop. And that also means I have a new freebie for you guys. So let me tell you a little bit about it and then we're gonna make some uh, coordinating ephemera for my journal um, using some of the papers. So this is a fall gratitude kit and um, I did something a little different. It has, um, 18 journal pages, 15 of them have some sort of uh, fall tree. They're kind of those faded muted colors that I love. You can see some lines kind of underneath, okay? So that some of the pages have that to help you, you know, with your journaling. But there's either some kind of page at, on, page, blah, let me start over. Some type of tree on each page or, um, there's the the lined journaling paper um, and then there are three pages that are just a double spread let me see if I can show you of um, doo -doo -doo, of the pages so I in the kit have them as the full size eight and a half by eleven and then I also am giving you what I'm calling pocket size and when you print and cut them out, the pocket size is six and a quarter um, by right at five, okay? Um, anyway, I'm not sure if I'm being clear on what all you get. I was hoping that I had a mini page to show you. See like that one, it has trees on both sides. Um, this one has a tree and a journaling paper on one side, okay? But there are some you're gonna get that here, I'll just push a piece together. It'll be something like that where you'll get um, three pages have lines and some kind of pattern on both sides. That's what I'm trying to explain. So you can um, make a pocket size journal, and I've made one. I'm so excited about it. Or you can make, you know, a full size journal. You can also print the pages, I guess, to whatever size you want. But I was trying to make it a little bit easier for some folks that sometimes struggle with that and want to make the pocket gratitude journal. So um, this one I have put together and I'm going to use it um, in probably in November. I'm going to do gratitude every day in November. Um, and the kit also comes with, um, some pages that have prompts for you. And I did them kind of like a card. So the prompts at the top, and then you can write on the front and the back. This one's describe something beautiful that is outside your window. Again, to remind us to just be thankful for little things like that. Um, this one, what are two things you like about yourself? So you can use the prompts or you don't have to. That's the beautiful thing, right? Um, if you want to use the card and you don't like the prompt, um, tear it off, <laughs> right? Just here, I'll show you how they come. Um, you know, you could just tear it off or you could, um, write another prompt and glue it right over junk journaly style but there's um, a bunch of these prompts and then each of the pages that have the prompts on them have some type this is like a little torn paper um, some kind of ephemera some tags um, here's a strip of leaves um, and there's one somewhere yeah like little tabs if you want that for your journal pages so lots of different things um, that you can do with that. And then, oh, here's one of the pages. Isn't it pretty? I think it's so pretty. Okay, but then I also did a um, page of quotes that are appropriate for gratitude. There's one, um, gratitude turns what we have into enough. Uh, Piglet noticed that even though he had a very small heart, he could hold a rather large amount of gratitude from Winnie the Pooh. Okay, and that the, the quotes page you can print it as a full page um or i did a half a page um so that they're a little bit smaller and then i have this fun page of affirmations this is the freebie by the way jump over to buy me a coffee the links in the description and grab the freebie and you can print this at whatever size you want this is the full size 
if you buy the kit on Etsy, there's a page that prints like this, the quotes and the affirmations, but then there's the full affirmations and the full quotes are in there. Anyway, that's enough about the kit. Goodness, if you want it um, or you want to go look at it, it's on Etsy. There'll be a link in the description. So I am teaching an in-person workshop the end of October, and we're going to make these little gratitude journals, and I'm so excited. I made mine kind of big and chunky and I like it like that and I used a few of those tabs on the pages. I think if I made it again I might not put the tabs or may not have one here in the middle because I would like to put a ribbon around this so I may end up chopping that off and doing something different. Um, and I did some little hearts. So there you go. Um, pockets and for the pocket size one I just folded all of the prompts and put them in pockets in my journal so that um, I can just pull them out when I'm ready, work on it, and then put it back in, okay? Um, when I am ready or after I've done it. Um, I kind of like the interactive nature. Now on the big one, let me show you what we're gonna do. Um, I've prepped some of them and what I am doing is I'm kind of just gonna put them in these big pockets like this. And then I can fold them up like little notes if I want to, but I was also thinking if I want to, I can attach them to a page here and there. Um, lots of options um, of how I wanna do that. Or I could even turn the actual journaling card into a pocket itself, right? So, um, lots of options, but for now, I am putting the blank ones in the pockets. Um, and then I'm gonna decorate and we're gonna make some ephemera that will coordinate with this. Um, I think I wanna do a little more on the cover. I made the cover just with um, a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and cut it um, at, how tall did I make it? I made it eight and three quarter, quarter inches tall. So the papers fit in there nicely and it's nice and soft. So, sewed, put a little bit of fabric on the inside. Anyway, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. And I thought it would be fun today if we made um, a few pieces of ephemera um, or decorated up the pockets or did something like that. So, I definitely want to add some of these quotes to my larger journal. And um, I think I'm going to just use my ruler because I kind of like having that rough edge and I am going to tear them apart really quick and this is the half sheet size um, so I thought that that would look good you know if I decided to somehow put it on a pocket or something and then I didn't I didn't tear that very straight um, that's part of the thing about tearing paper. You got to be, whoa, well, there you go. So everything is fixable. Um, and I'm going to make this one just look really junky. How's that? <laughs> we are going to just tear it up. And that's going to be what it is. It's one thing I love about this type of paper crafting. Nothing has to be perfect. And in fact, there's a lot of the beauty in things being imperfect, right? Just like we are, just like people. All right, so it's gonna look good. I'm gonna make some kind of little decoration. This one is a Maya Angela quote. It says, this is a wonderful day. I have never seen this one before. So there you go. Um, I kind of don't want to cover up that tray now that I said I want to decorate the pockets. Maybe I'll just bring it over this way. Um, the other thing I grabbed off from my pile is I made these in a video recently. The colors are a little bit brighter, but like that one would look really good with this journal. So would that one. Um, but I was even thinking some of these to add some softness with the fabric would be pretty. And I tell you guys all the time when I'm making all these pieces of ephemera, and then I just have them so that I'll, they'll be perfect when I'm ready to put them in a journal, right? Here's one of the ones I made um, with the, the napkins. And I think this is gonna look great in this journal as well. So I'm gonna just find myself a page 
and I'm gonna stick it down because I want to get some things going in here. So um, I really do use the things that I make. I give a lot of them away. <laughs> and sometimes I'll make like little ephemera packs or a mix pack or something that I put in my Etsy shop as well. But this one I'm gonna put right here. And then I could still write above it if I want to. Okay. Um, and like I said, these are quite faded, muted colors. So there's a lot you can do as you go. Um, things don't have to be absolutely matchy match and it'll still look good, I think. All right, I'm going to get one of these leaves, I think, to put with this tag. And I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Whenever I get a new paper kit or make a new paper kit, one of my favorite things to do is just to start playing with it and to see, you know, different ideas I can come up with. I'm sure I'll have some other projects that we'll make together using these papers because they're so pretty. And just because I designed them kind of like the double sheets, right, so that they'll easily turn into a signature page in your journal, um doesn't mean that that's all you can do with them by any means. And so that's, again, part of the challenge for me anyway, or the part that I think is so fun is um, what all can I do? All right, so these are little squares. These are two by two squares, and you can use them um, that way, right? Or you can do what I'm doing, and you can fussy cut the square or the the leaf out so that's up to you um and if I had kind of thought through what I was going to make I might have fussy cutted this ahead of time off camera um but hey if you don't want to watch me cut it just fast forward all right so let me add a little bit of ink and let me just also say thank you guys for watching my videos um I've been having so much fun lately making content for everybody and your support is just has just really meant a lot to me so thank you um, I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of feedback and most of it is positive <laughs> and the, 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 the feedback that's not I just smile and try not to focus on that human nature you know you can have um, what all this positive feedback and then you remember the negative things somebody says but I'm not gonna do that I am going to focus on the positive okay um see how just that little bit just putting the quote tearing it putting a leaf there just really I think makes the page look really good this is a journal I plan to do a lot of writing in and so um I didn't put a lot of pockets or anything in it yet. I can always add more later. I will say too, I added these beads and I kind of wish I hadn't or had waited to add them until I was done working in the journal because um, the way I did it, they're not removable and they're a little bit of a pain. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about adding beads um, to your journal. Just a thought, you might want to wait. Okay, I did cut out a few of these tags, and I'm thinking these are going to be really fun, um, again, to clip on, have in pockets, um, because I love, um, again, the affirmations, the, the, the gratitude quotes, those types of things, and I can really see myself um, adding extras in. So I'm going to cut out See the Good. And again, I really like the, the, the smaller sizes. And again, if you just grab the freebie and you want to use these, um, just tell your printer to um, like print it at 60% or print it at 50%, whatever, and play with it and, and see what size you really like because um, you don't have to print it big. I am gonna find a piece of ribbon. I think this pink, it's got a little bit of orange on the tip there, we'll use it. I can have pink in my fall journal. The last little bit of color of summer, right? 
All right, so I am going to fold the ribbon over. I'm gonna hold it on there. And then I'm gonna put See the Good on top. And we are gonna staple it. Couldn't be any easier, right? Ha, how cute. I think it's precious. So that can go in a pocket along with that little tag. And then I had lots of ideas, but I really just planned to get on camera and show you guys these the freebie and that the papers were out so that if you wanted to start making something or getting ready for that kind of season. Now these, they printed, they're supposed to be like a little piece of torn paper. I am going to use my ruler and just sort of tear it and we'll make it work. Um, I think I'm probably not on camera. Instead of using my scissors and try to cut exactly the way that it printed, I am going to use my finger and we're gonna tear it. So these are fun little strips that you can use, um, again, just to decorate paper pages and papers with. You can tear them even smaller than this if you want to. But I love having little scraps to work with. You can also print like the smaller pages like I did here and use these. These were extras when I was making my little one. But these will make great pockets and tuck spots even in the larger journal. Um, so that's another idea if you want to think about that. All right, so this one I am gonna put just at the top of this page, again, to make it almost look like um, it's a little pad of paper. And then, doesn't that look good? It kind of distresses that plain page up a little bit. And then we're gonna get another, how about be kind to yourself? That is one that I have to remember. I am, it's so easy to be nice to other people, or it is for me anyway. And then sometimes I say ugly things to myself that I shouldn't say um, when I get frustrated or I don't do something as the way I think I should have, whatever. And um, so this is a reminder that I definitely need. So I'm just gonna glue that right down onto that page. So I'm not necessarily making ephemera, I'm just decorating my journal. <laughs> okay, let's find, you know what? One of these might be really pretty for the front of the, of the journal. What if, hmm, I've already put that pocket there. I was gonna say, what if we add this cluster and this could end up being our closure if I wanted to wrap a piece of twine or a ribbon around it. I don't know. I th I'm thinking yes, but I'm not going to commit yet. I am not ready to commit to that. All right, let's look at this back page. This one, um, I decided to just put um, some of the lined paper on. Um, I'm going to use my practice gratitude little word cluster here. I don't know that that's really an affirmation. I call this affirmations. I'm sure someone will say something to me <laughs> that practice gratitude is not an affirmation, but it's okay. Um, I think it's a good reminder. Maybe that's what I should have called it. Affirmations and reminders, right? All right, we'll put that one here and the green kind of coordinates with that little splotchy part on the journaling paper. There we go. And I probably will um, add a few more pockets because I'm gonna want places to put more of these tags. So let's, um, I'll show you how I was planning to use something like this for an actual um, pocket or tuck spot. So, like I said, I had printed all of them and then decided to make my little mini journal. Um, 
not have all of the pages. It was just way too fat and chunky for one signature. And I didn't even make an extra cover or anything for this. I just printed these on uh, cardstock and then just picked the one with that one tree um, to be the cover. So, all right, so we can use a rectangle like this and just add glue here and here and it can just be a tuck spot. But again, my vision for this is to add some of those small, smaller tags. So I am going to tear this one and do a page maybe with two stacked pockets. Maybe we'll put it like here and put one above it. All right. So both of my youngest daughters are um, not going to be home to be able to vote. And this is um, my youngest, well, Let's think about this. No, my daughter Sarah voted in the last presidential election. This is Julie's first time. I'm just putting glue on three sides, guys. Um, voting in a presidential, or first time voting. Sarah, second time with a presidential election. But anyway, they both had to have absentee ballots, which is where I'm going with this story. And um, so they were very responsible and had gotten online and ordered their absentee ballots. And... Um, and I guess this is the way it's always worked. I can't remember the last time I did an absentee ballot when I've needed to. I've just done the early voting if I wasn't going to be available, you know, on election day. Um, but th they got mailed to our house, which is fine because now we'll put them in the mail. And well, Julie will be home in time to get hers and then just do it um, and then go back to school. But Sarah, you know, is still registered in Virginia and didn't know she was moving to New York when she requested the absentee ballot. So anyway, she'll just vote once in Virginia and then change her um, address and registration after the election. Anyway, all of that to be said, I think it's kind of interesting when you say you're not going to be here and you request a ballot and then they send it to that address, to, to the, you know, your home address. And I guess that makes sense so that they don't get lost or there's no fraudulent voting. I don't know. It's a very interesting concept. And I bring that up because I was at the post office mailing my daughter a package um, so that she can absentee vote. Yay. All right. So these pockets, <laughs> I'm just rambling. Y'all ignore me. Okay. These pockets are going to be a really good size for this size tag, I think. Um, but let's decorate them just a little bit. I think I'm going to add this cluster and I'm going to need to use my fabric tag because um, it's I this is not one that I backed with the paper. I was really really liked that once I decided um, to, to make some that way and if you haven't watched that video there's a video on making the different fabric and lace um, little clusters that I did recently. Um, okay, but that's going to work perfect and it'll dry and that'll be cute. And then I'm thinking, I don't have them printed out, but you know, my little junk journaling words, I've used them a lot in a lot of different videos. When I say I don't have them printed out, I, um, have some somewhere printed out that I haven't used all of them, but no telling where they are. I am going to decorate this upper pocket with just a strip from one of the pages, and then we might hand write a word. How does that sound? Okay. So I'm going to apologize now that I said at the beginning of the video we were going to make a bunch of ephemera, but we're, we're really not. We're just decorating pages and using little pieces from the kits. I guess we did make a tag. Um, but sometimes you just need to play with paper and not feel like you've got to, um, you know, make something brand new or completely different. Sometimes I just like to sit and do this and kind of see 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 what what comes to my mind. I definitely think this would be a great kit to make um 
some flowers to piece together. Um, I think this will be fun. I don't want to cover up that cute pocket I just decorated, though. I might put this one in this pocket because I moved that other one. And I'll add a little color up here. Okay. Um, let me find something that we're going to write on. And I don't know if I still have, I do. I still have this pretty flower punch. So we'll also make a quick flower. Like I said, I'm all over the place. We'll do that. So it'll coordinate. And um, how cute. And if you don't have a flower punch, um, like I said, you can cut each of the individual petals. And I've done lots of flowers that way. But you definitely, um, it definitely requires a lot more precision than just using a punch. Which is so easy and so fun. Um, and not hard at all. I am looking for, oh, and see, look at the circles. There's some little pumpkins, a, a swing, a bench, and a cute little house or a cottage. Um, oh, this is what I'm looking for. I think the center of the flower I'm making will look pretty with this um, orangey color from the leaf. There we go. All right, I can make a mess. Let me tell you, if you guys off camera could see where I've just been throwing everything. All right, and one other thing that we did when we made these flowers that would be cute would be to punch, right, um, a piece of the packing paper See me just using all the ideas I've shared with you guys recently. They're obviously on my mind. Um, just to give that flower a little more dimension. The packing paper does better with two layers in the punch. Um, all right, so now we'll have some brown leaves. Yep, very cute. Okay, so now I'm not sewing this one. This one is just going to get glued. So putting a little bit of glue on each, the center of each layer. I'm not gluing all of the little petals down because I kind of like it looking like it's blooming a little bit. And then the center. The center could have been even a little tinier, but that's okay. That's the punch that I grabbed, so we're going with it. And I realized I did a cluster here and a flower here. I should have put this flower up there. In my excitement, I forgot I had already put a cluster there, but that's okay. Um, this is where, let's put a word right there, and that is going to, um, hmm, I bet I can make this quote, gratitude turns what we have into enough. I bet I can make it fit right in there. How cute will that be? So I'm not afraid to just chop these right up. And you shouldn't be afraid either. All right, you just don't want to lose all your little pieces once you start chopping away. So I'm going to do a touch of inking. It's probably not necessary and it's just going to be a little word piece are pieced together words. And they're gonna fit on the pocket and I think pull it together. All right, I'm using um, my Line Co PVA glue. If you're new to my channel, that's kind of my go-to everyday glue. It's a little more economical than my other favorite art glitter glue which I still use I use art glitter glue a lot um, but this is kind of what I've had in my bottles right here on my desk recently and I like it so it gives you a couple of choices okay what do you guys think yep I'm happy with that 
and I need something on the top of that tag. So I am going to go back over to where I have these little circles and the reach of my circle punch. <laughs> I know is, um, I'm gonna cut this a little bit smaller than I did a one and a half inch punch and got the little bench. This just looks like a bench I would love to sit on and watch leaves or watch birds or um, read my book, something like that. So I'm going to just add some glue and stick that on the top of this tag. Yep. And again, a lot more little things can be tucked in there, but now I've got a couple of big, uh, those kind of pockets too that will help. All right, so again, obviously I'm gonna keep going Woo. and um, enjoy working in this journal and decorating it and writing in it. So it's gonna be great for the season. I don't do a lot of beads on spines. Again, pro tip, wait to put them on until you're done um, working in your journal. Even writing in this one's gonna be fun um, with these beads, but I can lay them to one side and write and work and then when I want to write on this side I'll just lay them to that side it's going to be fine all right I hope you guys like those couple of ideas of how you can use the the papers I really love the mini journal and how it came together I actually spent a lot of time on this one because I cut pockets um, and made little belly bands for all of the uh, prompts the gratitude prompts so all right, let me know if you're gonna make one, um, whether you use these papers, use whatever papers you have. Um, you can also find online, if you just Google like um, gratitude journaling, gratitude prompts, and you can get a whole list. You could just handwrite it at the top of your notebook and do your journaling. So you don't have to make it super fancy to enjoy um, thinking about all the things you're, you're thankful for. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it.